هلو اهلا بكم لابيسود جديد في برنامج بتاعكم نو يور سيليبريتي قاعد يكون في اليوتيوب بتاعنا اللي هو في كل يوم الاثنين بس ما تنسيت لو ما حددت القبليو ارجع امشي احضر وعمل سبسكرايب للقناه بتاعنا عشان يجيك كل جديد اضافه لده لو انت عندك اي حاجه عايزين نعملوها ادفتايزمنت في خلال اليوتيوب بتاعنا او في برنامج بتاعنا ما تنسى ارقام بتاعنا قاعدين تحت وما تنسى كمان تفعيل الجرس انا بكرر تفعيل الجرس عشان يجي كل جديد من برنامج بتاعنا نو يو سيليبريتي الليله برنامجنا مختلف تماما عن كل يوم اللي احنا قاعد نكون فيه مع ناس في محل مليان طبعا ما في احلى من انه مكان يكون فيه ناس بس الليله قلنا خلينا نمشي برايفت شويه لزول في محل بتاعه ما قاعد يطلع ما قاعد يمشي في محل بس بنسمع اسمه في اي اغنيه او اغلبيه اغاني احنا قاعد نسمعه اسمه موجود فيه قلنا خلينا نتعرف عليه ونعرفكم كمان عليه شاكو اون ذا بيت اوكي شاكو اهلا بك ثانك يو ليدي لين I'm Shaq on the beat, as she said. Welcome to I, I, ITV, by the way. Okay, ITV. You welcome on my studio, my humble studio, by the way. And I'm ready to hear any questions that coming from you. Though I was not prepared, like in, I'm sure I'm hundred percent ready for all the question concerning anything concerning music or the industry. طيب شاكو قال هو جاهز لاي سؤال لو في سؤال برضه نحن ما سالناه وبعدين انت ممكن تخليه في التعليق بتاع تحت او لو انت متخيلين في زول ثاني حيكون معنا في الابيسود الجاي برضه دخليه تحت في التعليق بس هسي خلينا نعرف كثير عن موضوع او عن شاكو بحد ذاته انت متين بديت فكره انك تكون منتج بتاع اغاني او منسق بتاع اغاني في جنوب السودان اوكي اي اي ستارتد ات 2013 Uh, by the way um i was been inspired by my elder brother bulda lemerica son uh until uh, i made it he started teaching me some stuff until i went to school to learn production 2013 i'm in juba 14 so i started doing production 15 i started winning my first award uh it's mushunu for year two so so what so so what كان انت آه عملت كان كم اغاني لحد ما انت اخذت الجائزه بتاع سوسوات اه اوكي وان اي ستارتد برودكشن باي ذا اف ساكرفايس ا لوت كويس انا حاولت يعني عشان الناس يعرفوا شاكو ذا منو طبعا اي هاف تو براند ماي نيم سو براندنج ماي نيم اي هاف تو ساكرفايس ا لوت سو انا كان غامو لاغاني لون فور فور فري فري ذا جيز اول بيتس ذن يو نو يو كول دبليو جي اي يو كول سي جي يو نو اي هاف ذس بيت فور يو اند وات ات ليست سو ذي هاف تو نو وات ام ام كيفبل اوف يو نو سو فروم اول ذيس بيبل ذات اي ديد فري 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 ستاف موست اوف ذيم دين ورك بات فور سي جي اومان هاز ووركت اوت وذ لوال يا تغنيا كفايه من بدايه Yes, that one worked out. It worked so well. And uh, again, there's one from from Rocky J, uh, Borochin. It also worked a little bit. Then uh, another one from Crazy Fox and Lual. I think that one where Kabara Kabara Cap. I think that's where people started getting knowing who is Shako. On the beat. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, min min zaman da. It's a have. عملت كم اغاني او قدر كيف انت بقيت تتعامل مع الناس او مع باقي الفنانين؟ في البدايه كان بمجان انت ما كنت قاعد تعمل حاجه سو بعد كده طبعا زول لما يلقى في ناس بقى يجوا بغير اسلوب بتاعه بغير قروج بتاعه بيزيدوا بالنسبه لك كان فيها تغيير حصل من الزمن ذاك؟ اه بيكوز ذا واز 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 ذا بوينت كويس انه بروموت ماي سيلف لايك اني بلايس سم تايمز كان انت قاعد تعمل افتتاح كان مطعم بتعمل اول يوم اكل مجاني عشان الناس كلها يجي then they will know the surface and from there you have your standard price and uh, the first price that I started recording with was 1500 it was 2014 yeah it was 2014 كان بيجي بلاك شنو ال 1500 والله 1000 yeah it was kind of like, it's almost 200 dollar because the dollar was about 700 pound yeah so uh who can grush it khayal ma inno ma inno hasara nobody records record at that money 200 dollar in juba right now you see but zaman dag imagine people pay 1500 okay 
طيب شاكو هسي انت قلت هسي بيجا ناس ما يعملوا زي ده انت شاكو انت قاعد تعمل ريكوردينج لناس بيكا اه كارنتلي كده ريكوردينج هاجي از 100 دولار از 40000 باوند ليس ذان بيفور اه يا از ليس ذان بيفور اند باي ذا واي ان اف اولسو انا حاولت قررت انه شنو نرى لظروف بتاع الجنوبين الفنانين الظروف اللي هم ماشيين فوقه Uh, some producers used to record higher than me. Okay. Yeah. So though other people outside Umun, they call me like I'm the best producer because of uh, the awards that I won. So their prize was high. Okay. I have like, uh, you see, uh, me, I only recognize some few producers. And they are my senior, by the way, because when I came and I found them, and I until today I still believe in them, which is Linus and Jay Ho. These two guys, um, Ediga was there, but Ediga now has a little bit focused on more of advertisement and things like that. But uh, Jay Hu and Linus, those are the people that I, until today, I still give them respect because when I came, they are the only people who fought so hard for the industry in the beginning, from 2010, 2009, and until today. They have never quit it. And uh, their prize was higher than me. Though I won award more than them, but I still I wanted to 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 make some a little standard prize for for Junubin to afford. Say, but when I say that Junubin, I say next day he said you. Ah, it has to be the different offers for us. I want to be the one who is going to show the beat the quiz mark. I want to make the hard for us. Create a record for free or something. Um, I used to do that. Yes. I, I used to do that, but Hasa, things are hard. <laughs> there's no way Hasa goes. I know. You see, there's one thing that I've just realized with my fananin hagetna junubina. They always undermine people or they take the the uh, the the effort that you're giving them. They take them for granted, you know. Like you find us working so hard promoting them, working with them. You see, like yes, I used to do that. I used to call. Because me, I see from the talent. Whoever that I feel like it fits on this beat that I met, I'll call. You see, if it was single D, it was Crazy Fox, or whoever, I just call. I just tell them, okay, you know, I have this kind of beat, and it's, I think it's, it fits you, and I give it to them. And I've just realized that I've built a lot of musicians uh, in this country, but uh, at the end of the day, nobody appreciated all what I've done for them. You see. I just decided, you see, sometimes I could not even have recording, like in this crisis that we're in right now, people are broke. I could even stay like one, two, two weeks without any recording. But I don't mind, I don't call anybody for free things anymore, because they don't appreciate whatever I do for them. But there is so many people appreciate you, see the, how many awards you won. Yes, they do. And, uh, you know, there's some private sectors, they... They also don't appreciate, you know. Now, I even stopped myself from being nominated in those awards from 2020. It's simply because these private sectors, they are using us, making money out of it. You see, I won 11 awards. 11 awards, it's only two that I've gotten money out of it, you see. And the first one, the money that I got, it was some good money by then 2017. But even the money not given by the uh, organizers of the award, uh, uh, the award company, it is somebody else who was there, a representative from from the vice president office. He's just like kind of appreciating the work that I've done for the industry. He just stood up and he gave a price, and he just said I should come to the office. طيب شاكو انت لو وقفت حاسس انه ما يكون انت اسمك هناك عشان ما قاعد يدوك لايك ما قاعد ابروشيت انت ماديا بحاجه المفروض يطلع. One thing that is one point. First I don't benefit from the award that I've been winning. They just gave me a trophy. It's just simply as a trophy. Okay, I'm the best producer of the year and there's nothing out of it. And uh, the company or the organizers they make money. The entries alone and the and the numbers of the people that enters that place they make money out of that and us who are making money for them nobody's appreciated us even with the transport you see and secondly uh from 2020 until 
and I'm just starting now. I'm starting getting back again. But for yeah, from 2020 until this moment, uh, I was been a little bit quiet. I just decided to relax. It's uh, it's not that big. I know some other people who who or maybe people who are in my field, the competitor, they'll think Ashako has dead. His musical has finished. You see, Kumbe, they don't know. I've just give them chance. I didn't give them chance, but I just wanted to rest. You see, so and um, then I told the the award companies, the one who always nominated me, to remove my name from the list simply because. I've not been working for all this year. How did you nominate me? You see? And I'm sure uh Munkin by corruption. Corruption be, they will because because of my name and what, they will try to make me win. How would I why would I win something that I didn't work for it? Okay. Yeah. And I don't want it to be loser also because I didn't work and my name it was there and somebody else would win. So I just simply I just tell them, okay, remove my name. I don't want it to be nominated for now. No hard feelings, mafi beef. <laughs> okay, Shako, how did you get to the hotel? How did you get to the hotel? Shako, or Shako, sign us to the hotel so that you can be the name of the hotel? By the way, I've, uh, I, I used to manage single disc music for long from the day one that he started, 2015 until 2020 for the last uh, concert that i went with him to cairo we came from there i handed him to a different management why um because i i i, I found out like he's really need he's really need somebody to inject money into his music and i don't have that money you see yes i i've really pushed him to some extent but it's not enough so there's some lady who appeared, turns like she's interested of uh, managing Singolese music, and at least I think she's a little bit financially okay. So I told Singolese, I have no problem, bro. That is that is good uh, because that's the thing that I've been looking for since. Like delegate for Sarah, you can go ahead. I've released Singolese from that and from that day, and um, to make it worse, they it didn't work out with the lady. They did not even last for two year, two months. The everything went apart, you know. So and uh, now, I think he maybe has different management because from that time he went to Kampala. He's been in Kampala for two years, and he's been quiet as as my, as me as well. So he's not been working on some stuff like in. We had there is so many songs actually. Song only future artists. By the way, he when he was in Kampala, he's been focusing a lot featuring some some artists even uh, I've been I've been I've been I've been surprised when I told him bro uh, that will not help you know featuring some artists and your fans expecting something from you because the song that you've been doing it thought not yours until he confessed to me like Shako I'm doing something secretly you no know, some people should not know but when I come to Juba I'll let you know more about it and people will get surprised and he's coming by the way two days from now we'll be in Juba حنكون منتظرين طيب شاكو نحن عايزين آه قبل ما نعرف كيف انت ممكن كانت تعمل اغاني بتاعك او كيف كانت تعمل البيتس نحن عايزين نعرف الفنانين الجرات او الفنانين لما نجوك في فنانين بكون ما بعرفون كيف انه يمشوا على الايقاع او في فنانين بكون صعب هل انت قاعد تعمل مع كل انواع بتاع فنانين هل قاعد تسجل لكل الناس ولا انت عندك ليفل معين او انت عندك ناس معينين انت ممكن تسجل لهم او زول الماء متمرس انت ما عايز تضيع زمنك معه او زول ال ما عنده صوت بتاع اغنيه مثلا انت ما عايز تسجله. انت عارف شنو؟ في فنانين هسه يومين ذيل سم اوف ذيس اب كامينغ ارتست نوت نوت اب كامينغ ليت مي جاست نوت بليم ذيس اب كامينغ ارتست اي لاف ذيم باي ذا واي بات ذيس بيج ارتست اف ذا وان تو هيد مي ليت ذيم هيد مي يو نو يو سي سم اوف ذيم وين ذي ستارت فروم فروم ذي ستارت ذي كام اب وذ سم جود انرجي اند جود فايبس يو نو بات وانس ذي ميك ات I don't know how the energy drops. You see, even when they come to the studio, they give me hard time in the studio. Imagine, I'm not going to the garden. The whole song is done. But now, you'll find them having five hours working on one song. You see, and uh, I also face a lot of challenges in upcoming artists, you know. 
and the haja dai manana ga dogolo lefana and by, by the way i always give advice to any artist that comes to my studio and i record and i if i see any mistakes with your music i have to advise you uh, i will not hide boys our mu- our musician generally in south sudan one thing they are lacking somebody calls himself musician or herself a, a singer but maptal ga baraf bazi fa ay ala nothing there's no any instruments they know not guitar not keyboard shalla adungu sakit umon maaraf guys yalla hal daruri no ay fanani yaraf ala musiqiya yani how would you compose your songs if you don't know instruments if you don't know the chords if you don't study music or you don't know how to play any chords how would you compose your songs that's why uh, our music that of reason why we don't have our identity uh, music because if they want to compose on oh, mind the guitar mind the smash on the compose to compose your own chords you know yalla bam she download instrumental from internet you see then obikata bugona to according to that instrumental lu download he write his song even al kubarra ga amlu kalamda they write the song according to instrumentals they download from youtube after the song is written well then they come to studio which is already your vibes all khala sounding to that style of music that you've composed to do you think you can get your own your own style it, it will be so hard for you to get your own style because you have you have copied somebody else's uh, style and you came up come came up with the to the studio and you tell the producer i need something similar to this of course either when you when you tell me you want something similar to this i will do for you which is i know that is that is not your right boys even me the producer who composed for you the the beat it's not even my rights because i did not put my own creativity or my own feelings there because i have listened to somebody else uh, feelings and i've tried to copy it because simply because the owner asked me to do that and he is paying me for that you know it's the only thing that i do i'll just do some slight changes i should to make it a little bit not sound in the same zeta zola who al hushalo min internet there you see so i always advise them at least fik fi adam hal course that guitar fi sugli be no lupta just go and learn even italo if the like talata arba chords believe me you can compose your own songs and you not got the producer hard time when you come to the studio you just tell the producer you know my chords the song that i'm singing the chords yeah, okay c sharps and minor and d and kid and that finish simple i just while play it immediately you see i will not struggle with it في كلام برضو بيقول انه بروديوسرز كان مثلا زول جا غنى غنى حقه بروديوسرز او اي زول اللي جا غنى عنده ما عجب غنى را او ما عجب الطريقه زول اللي غنى بو او هما الشاو بس ما بيطلع له غنى بوقف الغنى يعني زول اللي بيكون بيجي كل مره عشان يسال غنى حقه وين شاكو ذن لايك لسه شغال فوق لسه شغال اي ثينك باي ذا تايم ذاته بيكون خلاص ابى الغنى وقال شاكو راح خليه يوقف الغنى هل حصل موقف زي ذا قبل كده وانتم فعلا قاعد تعملوا حاجات زي ذا بروديوسرز؟ I will not lie to you. Uh that is one producer's sickness. You see? Uh and I'm also one of those producers who used to do this and uh that is sign of laziness by the way. <laughs> you see? So I see the big quest. No, I've changed totally. You see? Believe me, I've changed because I I found out there's nothing that uh that nothing is hard to me because now I I made sure I provided everything. that i want you see i i i have my own studio and uh, my own house so anytime even at in the midnight i can wake up and do something i don't sleep by the way i sleep in the daytime you see so at night i'll find it so much easier for me to work at night so it doesn't even take me like two hours three hours to finish somebody's song why would i even take like a month to finish somebody's song i used to ask myself why would ana kuta gadam zedele You see by the way I've, i and uh, i'm sure a lot of artists they hate me because of that like you know when they don't know now i've changed and i've changed and i'm <laughs> <laughs> okay shako tay bi menu ze tagayerta tama manu ze taga tagul zera hal agani tanas gaad ikhtafi min laptop marat aw min computer zo law ta amaltu khalas jahiz fi yom hasal maak mouqifin aw fi gona ta zolu record everything is done bas baki ru bi jab pick then pop it happens with me once only in my farmer studio in that sound wizard and it was with uh, my favorite artist the late Trisha C she she did a song in Nairobi 
Tattoo. Everybody knows that song. She did the song in Nairobi. It's in the, one of the biggest uh, record labels in, in, in Nairobi. But she doesn't feel the song. Somebody sponsored, somebody paid her even for me tickets to Nairobi and everything to record. But after the song comes out, she didn't feel the song. Then she came to me, she gave me the sample like, you know, Shako, can you try to do something to re record this song again from scratch? I told her the song is fine. I don't know how you don't feel it. He said, no, the way this guy plays with the, with the truck, I don't like it. Then I said, fine. She paid me money. By then, I, I, my recording was also not that expensive. It was uh, 10,000 SSP. So we did the project. It is, uh, imagine, imagine song, Alguni Datala, Michelle, the adopts start making some na so, sounds grip them. And imagine I've recorded the song 2017. It disappeared from that year until 2020. 2019, the ends of 2019 to 2020. You see? That is where I got the song. The song, I lost it. I even begged Trisha C, like, Trisha, let's, let's record it again. She refused. I swear to God, she said, Shako, I cannot do it again. Just leave it like that. You see? Just forget the money. And she was not annoyed. She just like, okay, leave it. Because I'm sure, Shaka, I cannot get the same feeling that I have sung with. Just leave it like that. That's, uh, then one day, after I even shifted the studio from Nimratalata to, to Club Buddies, that side of airport. I don't know, one day I was just checking some old, old stuff in my computer. I just found it. So when I found it, uh, I, was, I was in the studio with Crazy Fox. Then... I was like, I was celebrating. I said, bro, I've been looking for this song for almost two years. I failed to get it. Foxy told me, okay, you know what? Let's surprise her. Just do the song, mix it. I just mix it. Imagine, even I was working on the song, I, I, I stopped the song that I've worked on. Then I worked on uh, Trisha C's project, the tattoo song. After I mix it, I'm done with it. Then Fox called him, like, Trisha, where are you? He said, I'm Munuki, I'm in uh, a standard club. Then, uh, Fox told her, like, okay, can you come over to Shako studio? Then she said, if you have your Fox Galore, just tell, we have a surprise for you. She just took border and she, she is rich. After, 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 after she comes and what? Then uh, Fox said, play the song. When I played the song, the lady was so, so, so happy. Okay, let's, do you have the song here? Uh, I have, I have it, but it's not in the computer. Okay. Yeah. شاكو نحن عايزين نعرف كيف انت ممكن قاعد تعمل الاغاني بس خطوات جدا بسيط عشان في ناس دار يعرفوا كثير كيف اغاني قاعد تيجي وقاعد يطلع بالطريقه اللي هم متخيلينه وبالذات بات بتاع شاكو اون بيت لايك ات باي ذا واي ذيس ذيس بروجكت ذات ام وركينج ان اتس اتس ريذم it contains like you know that's the, that's how i coming i'm coming back to the industry with force because you know pe uh, people think that i've disappeared you know a little bit so i i i decided to make a rhythm song it's just a one track a bit i started it with uh, some group uh, by the way i didn't mention to you that there's some little kids kidder they're two their brothers called bfls bfl i'm trying to manage them right now because uh they're still young but what I've what I've seen in these kids, believe me, is magic. I cut single D out, those one all out. I brought these two kids, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I first, yeah, first I started with them. Then I then I created this beat. I said, you guys, the first upcoming. I don't want even upcoming in this uh, uh, project that I'm doing. It's only you guys going to be upcoming artists. I've created the beat. I've contacted like almost uh, most of our because sometimes you cannot bring anybody because you'll find it is not his own style he cannot manage to sing on it you know so I've, i just selected the people who are really can fit in that type of music so i've selected uh, uh dynamic yab angelos and mr d and uh, mavi they are from us then uh, from uh, from australia i've selected uh, becky jones and uh, and achai from canada and uh, Slate Nation from, from Australia. Then uh, from, from here, I've selected uh, Single D, um, BFL, the skits, and, uh, and Coco San, 
Irene Toss, Crazy Fox, MT7, you see, and Hard Life Avenue. So the rhythm is like you you have your own beat. This same beat, all of them going to sing in the same beat. Not all in one song, but every individual. Yeah, you take your own the beat. You you come up with your own lyrics, your own topic. I'll tell you that it's Kalam Fogo. You sing in it, but the the theme of the rhythm. I just I I name the rhythm Junubian rhythm. So now most of them they have sent theirs. Becky Jones called me yesterday from Australia. He said by weekend she will deliver her house because she's in the studio now. Even the Slip Nation called me early in the morning that I'm in the studio right now. It's almost done. Yeah, Bangelos done with his and some of these guys here in Juba, Crazy Fox, MT7, Irene Toss done. Uh, Single D is coming next tomorrow. He said he will be recording his year because, but he's done with his writing. So uh, it's about almost 15 to 16 songs. So it's one sound, different lyrics, different artists. Yeah. So uh, this one now I'm working here. It's the one for for Irene Toss. Risk it sound. Irene Toss on this one. A good girl gone bad. Yeah. Shout up on the beat. Muhaba tie day, and a wet day kulu. No matter what they say, I'll always be there for you. You are not there, just on my own. You know we book of love and don't turn. So no matter what they do, I'll always be there for you. Ratata, muhaba tani na gare. My new color matter girls them. I'll kill a bitch for your case, for your case I don't kill somebody. Uh, ta 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 your own career, the shogol hagak. Guys, this is yeah, this is one thing that God gives you. You can make money out of it. You can survive. That that Aisha, guys. Like in Oman, they don't take it serious. How how would you call yourself, fanan? You go, you, t- you just be chilling around, laughing, ramtali, ubita. Then when when time for studio come, you just go to the studio. There's no time for rehearsalings. There's no time for at least you need to sit with your own self. This is your own music. Try to create something new. Come up with something. You see, I was having talk with Becky Jones some a week ago, and uh, fi, 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 fi internet. She was telling me a lot about this. She said, Chaco, you know, I'm I'm even feeling ashamed of myself, you know, because my music sounds like any other people, like people from Australia, people from Uganda, from Kenya, from anywhere. I what, even she she told me like, Chaco, if money, don't worry, I, we can hustle together. I can give you whatever you want. Let's come up with something different. Let's create some stupid beats and give it to me. It's 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 very important. Believe me, Lean, there's nothing in this life without education that you can progress on it. You see, if you don't have knowledge, believe me, you cannot if you don't have any knowledge about it. You see? That's why I'm not stupid when I started learning production, then I went back to school to learn it, you see. I've learned it very well. I learned it from Boulder and also they brought for me a teacher from Kampala to come and teach me for three months. I do production very nicely and do songs. Even Gunata, Sijo, Man, Malwal, I did it legally in the school, you see. But I Ana and I've just found out like, you know what, I have to go to school and learn it and know exactly whatever I press there and the reason why I press this thing and how it affects what I do, you see? That's why I have to go back to school and learn it. And and they don't understand. 
Isaka number one and last guy you know this guy after graduating from Khartoum he came do music in Juba for all this time and everybody knows him and he has hits he decided to go to Jamu Juba again and study music you see life and anima de ramu haja zera asi asi wala let me mention believe me let me mention guys if you bring Rocky J or Silver X or whoever and uh and you br- you bring C Joman C Joman has studied music by the way but he did not finish it but he has the knowledge about music and he brings C Joman or bring uh Isaka number 1 you see and tell them okay this is guitars let's study music because music it's not it you read it kida bi jibole wara gazeda galek agara kalamda they will fail most of our musicians will fail and uh some of the musicians mostly the one who come from Khartoum they study music even some of them who don't go to university they study music fi marakis you see fi institute fi khartoum hinak merkasijana when when you go you pay some small fee they teach you music they teach you how to read music and all these things most of these people who come from khartoum they know how to read music but aljamin east africa wendel they don't go to school of music you see they don't learn so it knowledge is good you have to learn something small for you to to, to develop your own music so knowledge is shukran kadis shako you welcome lin kama ana shako wahed min akbar producers aw mutiji bta agani fi junub sudan ma khit 11 jayza wa ihtimal akter ashan hu give zaman wa hasi gara inu dereji tarhib khas jidan le shako ma tansa inak ta'mal ta'liq lel video bta'na aw bardu lel hayi ta'izu yenzil yom alitnen jay aw kullu videohatna ga'ad yenzil fi kullu yom alitnen fi gana bta'na once again ma tansa inak ta'mal subscribe by the way fananin tan ta junubin i'm not having beef with any fananin na lakin omon they always this this let me not say it but uh they always letting me down you know uh uh creativity is getting lost from our junubin musicians you know i always find out when i make something nice it it could be appreciated by everybody you see but the person who will come and lay on it will disappoint me so badly you know so i only have few artists that in south sudan that i've really trusted that uh they can do music you know and um i cannot mention their names but they're good and uh we really need to put some so much efforts in our industry and one thing our union i don't know what the union was was all about there because nobody seeing anything been done by union and what is their plan you see uh what i'm seeing right now it's it's just all of us we are the union to our own self you know musicians they're doing whatever they wanted to do and they have their own right to do whatever they want you see because there's no any law for the music until today so i wish the union will come with some strong uh, policy and a strong uh, law at least to cut up to cut out of some 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 this this lousy lousy games that fananin are doing you know we have a lot of fananin and uh, this a lot of fananin believe me 70% of them umun ma fananin i don't know why they decided to be musicians is it is it they feel like being celebrity how for is wala mushkila de shuno ana maarif you see when i decided to be a producer it's not that i wanted to be celebrity you see it's some it's love something that i love and I, i'm I'm born in in a musical family and i know music so since my my childhood and i decided to be producer you know it's something that i've i've phrased with but taninde is all bigger already is 20 something years old or 30 years old he decided to be a musician simply because he saw crazy fox in a stage doing some vibes he felt like ah i say i come from malta crazy fox that tomorrow he wants to go in the studio and do a song and uh, <laughs> some songs that Alan Gasm of clubs or for radio sometimes i don't know i even i just feel sorry like you know be this but let's hope for the best yeah and um, i i wish uh by 30th uh, the rhythm will be out from all these people the other in the aspara also they will send this 
and I will be having time also to go and premiere them in the radio stations and the clubs and at least for people to know that Shako has backed with force and uh, and I, 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 I also don't forget I just wanted to promote these two kids and believe me believe me everybody who's been watching you guys will thank me later and you guys will believe on my vision the one i saw for these kids and everybody will know like ah you know shako you know how to select you see i selected crazy fox everybody appreciated me i came up with single d j young everybody appreciated me you see so i i me i know how to select the talent me i don't select nasal gija guna guna guara guara songs of those i will tell all my followers and uh and also to subscribe <laughs> <laughs> I'll subscribe inshallah